Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ben. Today I've got some business to do out in the Harrison, Ohio, so I'm going to stop at the Harrison Goodwill store, which is a it's one of the Goodwills that prices up their items a little higher. However, they have some really good stuff usually when I'm in there. So hopefully today we'll find some good items. It's Wednesday, it's 20% off day, so I'm gonna stop in, hopefully find some good stuff. Let's do it. Here we go, here's a brand that's probably new for a lot of you. This is Ex Officio, it's a hiking brand. Um, I learned about this brand when I was actually doing my hike on the AT. They do a lot of really nice wicking clothing and people like their stuff a lot. So I've been reselling this stuff for a while now and I can usually get around 25 bucks for these button front long sleeve shirts. So look out for Ex Officio. Check out this pool, this is a vintage Tommy Essential big flag on the front, nothing on the back, just your basic shirt. We're going to pay $2.50 today because it's half off. That is a cop for sure. That'll probably be 15 to 20 bucks really, really fast on my store. Just had another vintage pool. This is a New York City Hard Rock Cafe shirt on the jerseys tag. Um, these vintage Hard Rock ones, depending on the cities, can go for some good money. I would imagine New York City is probably a decently desirable one, probably 20 to 25 bucks um, is a good estimate on that one. Here's another little piece. Bread and butter item, Lacoste button front shirt. And this one will go right around 20 bucks on my store. These are bread and butter, sell all day, really easily. So I just pulled all three of these shirts right in a row. You got two Peter Miller shirts, as you guys know, I pull these all the time. These are bread and butter, 25 bucks a piece. And over here is a brand that I don't find too often, but it's a very good one to find. I'm gonna butcher this name, Ermengildo Zanga. Um, his shirts and stuff always sell pretty fast for me, and they go right around the $25 mark for a long sleeve button front. This is one to look out for. I don't find it often, but when you find it, get it. I just pulled another button front, as you can probably tell from that whale right there. This is a Vineyard Vines. This is a classic fit tuckered shirt, and it's a good size set, 3XB. It's an unusual size, so this one will sell for a little more than your classic ones will, or your normal ones will. This one I'll expect to get around 25 to 30 bucks out of. So look out for the unusual sizes. Sometimes, if they're these bigger sizes, they can go for some more money. So we're going down the jacket aisle here, and as usual at this store, the jackets are pretty priced up. However, we've caught them slipping on this one. It's probably because there's no name, uh, designer name right there on the on the inside of the collar. However, being the thrifters that we are, we look down here at the buttons, you can see Barber right there. Went down a little further, you see the embroidery right there. This is a Barber Heritage jacket. It's a quilted one, and I think these ones go for like right around the $70 mark, so that was a fantastic score. You can see you can still catch stores slipping if you know how to look for the items. So keep an eye out for Barber and keep an eye out for store slipping. Just pulled another really solid jacket. You can see right here this is a puffer jacket on the inside of the tag. Marmot. It's a great hiking brand to look for. And this one is a down jacket. I checked the inside of the um, tag, the label. And this one will end up going right around the $30 to $40 mark. Um, probably close to the $40 end since it is a premium down and they only have this one priced at $7.50. Found quite a few North Face pieces here today. They've all been marked up as usual at the store. However, this might be the first one that is actually worth picking up. Um, this is a quilted thermoball permaloft jacket and they want 10 bucks for it and I think this one will go over 50 pretty easily, probably more around the $60 mark. Pull these jeans, it's a nice pair, 7 for All Mankind. Dojo is the kind of style that you want to look for with 7 for All Mankind. There's a few other uh, lesser ones that are still good, however, Dojo sell the best. And this is what the pockets on Dojos look like, they have like the 7 look to them. And these are $7.50. Dojos tend to go anywhere between the $40 and $50 mark, so these are snags for sure. So here's a brand I don't find very often, a few times, but it's Pilpro in the letter letterpress, and it's a brand from Anthropology. 
And these are jeans. I think the last time I sold these, they went right around the $30 to $35 mark, one of those. So I'm going to look these up, but I think this is a, a uh, winner right here, one to pick up. There's what it looks like. Okay, so I know I said that barber piece was probably going to be the pool of the day, but I just pulled this. It's a Burberry's woman's trench coat. See right there. Stitching looks good. The only thing that looks like it might be a little bit off on it is that it doesn't have the Burberry stamp on the buttons. However, that's indicative of some of the vintage pieces, and that tag is a vintage tag on it, so I think it's legit. I'll throw a pull up right now to my Instagram, let you guys see what you think on it. I personally think that might be real. Um, they want 20 bucks on it. I'm probably going to end up copping it and doing the hard research later, but I feel pretty good on this piece. That is a fantastic score. If it's real, that'll be over 100 bucks pretty easy. Guys, I thought we just did it. I thought we just doubled up here. You can see right there the Burberries of London. I saw that stick and I was like, oh my god, is that a second one? But as we did some more investigating inside here, you can see it has the Bloomingdale's tag. Not the right Burberry tag on the inside, and the quality is just not where it should be. Um, too bad we didn't double up, but this is a good opportunity for me to show you the differences between a real one and a fake one. So first we'll look here at the real ones logo. You can see it's nice and crisp on all the details and stuff in here. There's no like pixelation or anything in the horse's mane or in any of the fine details on the horse for the night. But if we come over here to this one, you can see there's a lot of pixelation up in that horse's mane and up there in the knight's body. You can see all the, like, the stitching and stuff has spaces in between it. In a real one, that spacing won't be there. And if you look up here in the actual Burberry, you can see the stitches in the lettering. And on the real one, you're not going to see that stitching. You're going to see a nice uh, diagonal sideways stitch to fill in every piece of the stitch. Not these vertical stitches like that. So that's how you can tell a real tag from a fake one. We just got done shopping at that Goodwill. We found some fantastic stuff. You can see right there behind me. Got a whole garbage bag of stuff. Ended up picking up 15 items at $98.10. As you can see right here on the receipt. Got our 10% military discount. Came out to $98.10. And that is not a bad deal. For 15 items, it comes out to what? Like $6.50, 7 bucks an item. Not too bad, especially considering some of the items that we got will sell way, way more than what we paid. Um, for instance, that Burberry jacket alone will cover the cost of everything that we just purchased and we'll still make a little bit more profit on top of that. So everything else is just gravy and that was a fantastic thrift run. I'm just going to end the video here because that was such a good store. Um, I hope you guys learned something and got something out of this video. Hopefully you picked up some new brands and learned something from how to distinguish a fake from a real. Um, if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out my video's algorithm, getting it out and getting seen by more people. And yeah, until next time, I hope you guys keep on uh, treasure hunting. Till next time, peace.